Devil was compensated for riding dirty. What's up, dog? Live from the motherfucking pen, nigga. Right. Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. When you, and I, I always go back to the music, she knows that. When she gets mm -hmm. talk, it's gonna get mental illness and all that. But when you go back to, you, you said you never was compensated for riding dirty. What's up, dog? Live from the motherfucking Pain, nigga. Right. Right. But at the end of the day, how did when you how did, when did you know you was even on that 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 riding dirty track? Oh man. Like um, that riding dirty project. With me being back then I was full fledged smoke D. I wasn't nobody I hadn't evolved yet. I could say, um when did I find out? So I had did the recording, you know, me and I had got that that tape back out of the prison. So, cause like I know I, you know, what I did. So, I was in Parchment, Mississippi. That's like the okay. worst prison in Mississippi. I was in Camp Twenty Nine and um, K and L Six. You know, shout out to Jackson, Mississippi. Shout out to the whole Mississippi, by the way. That's real. Oh, here. We here. We here. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no diggity. <laughs> so, like, yeah, man. Um, shit. Um. I was in KNL section and like the prison, the prison treated me like somebody. Them guys treated me with the love and the respect I never got from most of my family. Wow. Mm. I was accepted. See? Even though a bunch of them were some low down, rotten, good, no good mother. They accepted me. That's you real. Understand? For who I was. And to feel like that, it gave me some sort of mental placebo of thinking that I got something that I really didn't get. It was like smoking psychological crack. Mm. But was this was the place where you did that? This it, was the place the I did it. They gave me all the admiration, but you got to understand... I was in all the vigor of Smoke D, a damn fool. Somebody that didn't know they sell. How you gonna be in the glory like I'm bro, I'm doing dumb shit. You but that album, I ain't gonna lie, like I said, I always say Even I, though the album did what it did, I'm saying the psychological impacts that I had to go through to make that shit work. Yeah. The them folks searching my ass with a probe like day and night for a certain amount of time, people cheering me on and all this here, and me thinking that I wanted admiration that I got, and when I got it, I didn't really want it because the same niggas that admired me played with me. Wow. You see? Them the ones that played with me the most. Wow. So fame, having a little for like fame in that place is the wrong kind of thing. It make you an important, you be important enough to be a target. Why do you think they had to move Booster to the hole? He was there. Yeah. You know, that's the only relative story I have. You understand what I'm saying? Why are they doing that? But see, me, my sometimes, man, you know, it takes you, it takes you a lifetime to find out who you are. You had to go through. My advice to anybody, you know, that's listening, Micah 7, and I'm paraphrasing, I love the word of God, but I don't try to pre I want my, my thing a little different. Micah 7 say, I was telling the brother yesterday, your enemies will be members of your own household. Make sure that you vet the people that are closest to you. Make sure you know who is around you. Because even if you're the realest person on earth, if you're operating under the pretense of somebody that you love and they lying to you, you just as fake as they is and you don't know it. That's real. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You got to know who is around you and your social people in order to step into your true authentic self. Wow, I, to. I I just like I said when I think about you being there, even though the mind state was was was. was I didn't know then, but shit, yeah, then nigga, I'm smoke D. Yeah, but she at the end of the about. end of the day, you 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 basically how many hours or was that in one take? Uh, how long did it take you to even do that? Did they take that and chop it up and put it on certain parts of the song? It was one whole tape, bro. It was one. It was like two dead tapes. There were two old tapes that were continuous because what you hear on that album, shit out of sight, motherfuckers tongue kissing. Like that's just a small portion of it. I was crying, 
I was praying. I was going through all of the psychological things that you go through once you become, once you get incarcerated. There's a psychological process that goes on that kills the part, the part that you that was in the world. You forget that, you know that. Yeah. They're going to, within two years, you're going to be on automatic. You headed to the the room of institutionalization. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And so, yeah. And so. How long had you been locked up when you done that? Um, not long, man. I, it didn't change for me when I left the streets, bro. Like, the only thing changed, I couldn't move. But everything I want, I got it. So, one year, two year? It wasn't even six months. Wasn't even six months? It wasn't even six months good. Like, I was, I didn't know that, like, like, you be locked up, and you don't have to be locked up to be locked up. That's right. Mm -hmm. And even though I had got just locked up, I was already locked up before I got locked up. Mentally. Did you... How did Pimp C get that? Uh, my my good brother Kevin Stokes. He the one. Yeah, Kevin Stokes. He he got him. He got him to somebody. Somebody got him to me. Then I did my thing, and I got him. I got everything back to somebody. And then he got it to Pimp. Were you shipping it? How was you getting it to? It's over now. But how would you ship getting it to him? I was paying. I was paying the officers that was there. Oh, they the and they could. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. When you in prison, bro, like if someone's not, you know, they getting. They ain't paying them twenty five hundred a month, man. If I give you a thousand, you gonna go give me what I want. You <laughs> shit. You but thank what? God they did, cause I'm gonna be honest with you. That was the mo that really set the tone for that whole ride yeah. and dirty. Yeah, man. Whole project. So yeah, guys are starting to call me for skits now. Like I bet. Like that's crazy. Like, not even a rap, just to hear me say something yeah. authentic. You know what I mean? And like I ain't trying to convince nobody, bro. No, 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 no. No, I know. I love that 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 whole project. That's probably for me that's the coldest project that they ever done. Man, I'm just thankful to be like I say again, it goes back to Pimp C. Yeah. Think about, you know, that he, he he put that there. I just sent it to him. I didn't have any intent on him chopping it up or anything like that, bro. He just did it because later I heard they was trying to put some samples of the Mac or some kind of movie in there, then he got that and that kind of fit. But that um that put me on one of the top fifty seven albums in American history because Definitely. He did that. You know what I mean? So yeah, now it's just me trying to learn how to monetize stuff and just get stuff together to have sustainable because I can't, you know, drugs and all that stuff, dope game over with. Oh, for sure. It's a anybody, different time. Yeah, anybody got some drugs or doing all that, they the police. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Way, so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.